Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to Cooking from the Heart. I just got home from an incredible experience and have something very important to share with you. As you probably already know, year after year, heart disease is the number one killer of men and women across our country. And I just found out about an amazing program that could possibly save your life or that of a loved one. It's right here in our own backyard and it's called the Ornish Reversal Program. This is the only program that has been scientifically proven to not only stop the progression, but in many cases, even reverse the effects of heart disease. The Ornish Reversal Program consists of 18 four-hour sessions that focus on four key elements of lifestyle, which are nutrition, fitness, stress management, and love and support. The Ornish Reversal Program can benefit you even if heart disease runs in your family. In fact, research has proven that by following this program, you can change more than 500 genes to promote wellness. The program turns on the genes that prevent disease and turns off the genes that promote heart disease, common cancers, and type 2 diabetes. I had to know more about this program, so I decided to spend a few weeks on the campus of Centera Princess Anne to learn as much as I could so that I could share that with you. And that's what this episode is all about. I'm so excited to get started. Here's a preview of some of the information we'll be sharing with you over the next several episodes. What exactly is the Ornish program? Okay, that's an awesome question. <laughs> Dean Ornish was a cardiologist who went through med school in the 70s, and somewhere in that mix, he really was thinking outside the box, and he just felt like, you know, we can do more for our patients than just stick a stent in or just do surgery. So long story short, over 35 years of research, he has proven that with the right diet, everybody knew that, exercise, everybody knows that, but the two components that he included were group support and stress management. We have observed uh, that by the, by, the, by the time they are about the third or the fourth week, they are already feeling much better particularly in about two weeks, many of the people have relief of the symptoms of angina. So stress management for the Ornish program has five different techniques that we teach the participants. So there's the centering, bringing yourself to the current moment. There's the um, breathing component. There is postures and healing, healing movement, um, imagery, deep muscle relaxation, and I guess I would say the breathing is throughout the whole program, so the final component is meditation or mindfulness. The Ornish program would like for participants to be doing at least 180 minutes of aerobic exercise, so cardio. Um, is that per week? Or? It's per week. Not per day. Shoo. No, 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 not per day, and you can break that up um, any way that you would like, so you can do 60, excuse me, 30 minutes um, six days a week, or you can break that up however you would like it otherwise. Um, also, strength training or resistance training is an important part of the reversal program as well. And they recommend that, or we recommend that um, participants do that two to three times a week mm -hmm. with a rest day in between. Wonderful. And how different is cooking Ornish style? How, how different is that than regular cooking? Mm -hmm. Regular cooking? It's really not as, as far mm -hmm. off as you think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's just real healthy. You just have to not use oil. So when you're sauteing, you're doing like a dry saute. Now, if you want to get caramelization on your onions, mm -hmm. you can add a tiny bit of sugar oh, to get that okay. color. So you can use just a small amount of sugar. Amount of sugar. Can it be regular sugar? Does it need to be stevia or no? It's honey regular or... sugar is fine. Okay. Just again in small amounts. You know, you wouldn't put you'd put like maybe a teaspoon in, so you were or less when you're sauteing onions. But yeah, so you're doing like almost like a dry. You're letting the vegetables sweat themselves rather than putting the oils in. 
because you still want to get that flavor out of your vegetables. And if you would just like steam them, mm -hmm. you'd lose it. Uh, we are going to make cocoa truffles and we're going to make them Mexican style, which means we're adding cinnamon and cayenne pepper. How can you eat truffles when you're on this health Program. It doesn't sound like something that would I be know. part of a heart when, healthy plan. When you think of truffles, you think of something very decadent and full of fat and sugar, but mm -hmm. these are very low sugar. They're still rich, oh. but they are they don't have any added oils or fats in them. So how are they gonna be kind of nice and fudgy-ish? Well the dates give it that nice texture we're gonna with dates. Yes. And the dates actually sweeten it as well, so there's no added sugars in this. I never would have thought to do that. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is very this is very interesting. So I'm not seeing a lot of ingredients or a lot of tools out here, so mm -hmm. it looks like this is going to be another really simple recipe. It's really simple, it's really flavorful with just a small amount of ingredients. We're using six ingredients, they all go in the blender, you blend until smooth, and then you roll them into truffles. My first impression when I found out what the program involved was um, that it was pretty extensive, required quite a commitment, more so than I had planned for the regular sort of cardiac rehab, um, four hours a day, two days a week, and uh, a lot of more education. I was given numbers to call for rehab, and I called Princess Anne first, and I heard that they were starting the Dean Ornish Reversal Program, and I said, that's for me, I want to do it, I understand a lot about the program, I've had everything, I've followed it, I know it works, and it does work. If you're ever thinking about going to a program and you're concerned about health, your health, I'd say try this program because you're not going to regret it. You, you, you'll gain a lot and you'll never look back. Ordish program has saved my life and it can save yours too. As you can see, we've got a whole lot of information to give you. And don't worry, we'll do plenty of cooking along the way. When we come back, we're gonna dive in deep with the program director and some of the information she's gonna give us will be a real eye-opener for you. We'll be right back. Sharon, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to teach me about this. I'm Happy so excited. So tell me in a nutshell, what is the Ornish Program? The Ornish Program is a lifestyle change that's shown to not only stop coronary artery disease, but to reverse blockages wow. with no drugs, no surgery. That's fantastic. I can't wait to learn more about it. Thanks. Awesome. Come down to the gym. I'll show you what we do. Okay, great. So Sharon, what is your role in the Ornish Program in Sentara? I'm the program director, so really my job is to support the modality team. So we have a team of, um, we have an ops coordinator, she's our paperwork person, our insurance person, our go-to person. We have a nurse case manager who's sort of like air traffic control, um, manages and coordinates everything that's going on. We have a dietitian, registered dietitian. We have a stress management specialist, group support person who, um, her degree is in counseling. Um, and then, so all of those modalities work together, and my job really is to support them and give them the tools that they need. Okay, so then you're the perfect person to ask, what exactly is the Ornish program? Okay, that's an awesome question. <laughs> Dean Ornish was a cardiologist who went through med school in the 70s, and somewhere in that mix, he really was thinking outside the box, and he just felt like, you know, we can do more for our patients than just stick a stent in or just do surgery. So long story short, over 35 years of research, he has proven that with the right diet, everybody knew that, exercise, everybody knows that, but the two components that he included were group support and stress management. So think of cardiac health mm -hmm. like you're sitting on a stool, and those four components are legs of the stool. If you knock one leg out of the stool, what happens? The whole thing falls down, over. Right. Correct. So he addresses all of those components. Um, in his program, puts them together, um, 
And through that therapy, he has proven that not only can you stop coronary artery disease, you actually can reverse blockages. Can you reverse it all the way? That's different with each person. Okay. Um, it's, it's very different lifestyle, but it is a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. It's not something that you're gonna come do for nine weeks and then you're done. This is a lifestyle change for the rest of your life. But a lot of the participants that go through this realize that they, in just a couple of weeks, are feeling so much better that it's really not a stretch. Are there medications combined with this program as well? There are. Most cardiac patients are on a plethora of medications. Um, and there is proven research for some of those medications that they're on. A lot of diabetics because diabetics are two to four times more likely to get coronary artery disease than someone without that, without diabetes. Mm -hmm. So they are on a lot of medications. Those are monitored by our medical director. Mm -hmm. And what we find is as the program progresses, they're able to reduce or eliminate a lot of those meds. We do have some adult onset diabetes patients that are no longer on their diabetic meds because they don't need them anymore. Blood pressure drops, they can reduce cholesterol medication. But again, it's how, how you adhere to the program. How much are you willing to put into it? And so you are seeing very positive success with other conditions besides heart disease Absolutely. people that are on this program. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And one thing I love about it is I, I cook and mm -hmm. I try to do the best for my family and get them really healthy stuff because that affects you so much and I'm right. learning more and more about that. Mm -hmm. And I like how you're able to reduce the medicine. Is this considered at all alternative, would you say? Um, it's not something you typically hear in a hospital. You know, you think I don't about... know if you'd call it alternative. I think you'd call it progressive. Our goal, I mean, so we have parameters um, to bring a patient into cardiac rehab. Mm -hmm. But what we'd really like to see is the ability for insurance to cover this program before they have the heart attack, before they need the stent, when they just have risk factors, mm -hmm. like they have high blood pressure, or they're a diabetic, or maybe their cholesterol's out of control. Those are things that can be mitigated, and then we'll just eliminate the heart attack, or not have to have the stent. We'll fix it before it's a problem. So uh, who would be the ideal candidate <clears throat> for success in this program? Is it like a certain type of personality that can stick with it or what? What's your take on that? Um, I think it's probably anybody that's motivated to make the change. Mm -hmm. A lot of participants that come in here, um, we have several that um, have had heart attacks, died. We had a man that died on his kitchen floor, technically, he was in a cardiac arrest. So those patients kind of have a come to Jesus meeting, if you will, yeah. <laughs> and they have faced their mortality and they're willing sure. to make a change. They're willing to say, um, we did have one participant that said, you, I'll do anything you tell me to keep from having open heart surgery. You just tell me what I need to do. So those patients are motivated. What of the four components do you think people have the hardest time with? Is it the diet or mm. the exercise? I think it's different for every person. And I think the group support and the stress management are the pieces that most people aren't used to mm -hmm. because, you know, like I said, everybody knows that diet affects your heart, everybody knows that exercise affects your heart, but those two pieces are not things that are common that people really think about. So when a, a patient comes in and wants to get involved in this program, what are the, the main components or what all is involved in it? So a typical day for the Ornish patient, um, when they first come in, they have an intake with our nurse case manager and our dietitian. And so they go through the chart, they talk to the patient, they see where their motivation is. The dietitian will spend some time finding out what their eating habits are so we have a baseline, where do they start? Okay. And then they come in for their first exercise session. Um, so they do an hour of exercise, mm -hmm. and that's cardiovascular, and we introduce weight training. We have an exercise physiologist who works with them on where they are. Some people can walk on the treadmill for six minutes and that's all they have. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lady today, which, so they're on the home stretch of this cohort. She did three miles on the treadmill today. Wow. Very proud of her. That's wonderful. So they do an hour of exercise, yoga and relaxation and meditation. And that's a very pro, um, sometimes they go out in the garden and they do a walking meditation or some guided imagery. They do some very gentle hatha yoga. If they're unable to get on the floor on a mat, they do it on a chair. So it's just tailored for them. And really what that's teaching them to do is quiet their mind, mm -hmm. disconnect from the craziness, so and relax. It is hard, it's and it really does hard. take practice. Mm -hmm. So that's the second part. Then the third, co the third component is the diet. So they are fed an Ornish approved lunch that we prepare here. Our executive chef um, communicates with our dietitian, and we serve them a lunch. During that lunch time, they get a lecture from one of the modalities, whatever it is for that day. It might be the dietitian, it might be the exercise physiologist, 
might be the stress management person. So they get their, they have a lecture, they eat their lunch, and then the fourth component is the group support. So for this, they're actually sitting in a circle and it's facilitated by a group support specialist who has training in counseling. It's not group therapy, but what she's doing is just teaching them how to reconnect, mm -hmm. how to talk to each other, how to feel things, mm -hmm. because we don't do that. We get up in the morning and sometimes our day is so busy that it's nighttime and we don't even know we, we're not even living our own life. We're not even present in our own life. Yeah. So she's teaching them how to be present in their own life. And they'll have something in common. So even if they don't have family in Correct. the area, they have that little community, Correct. I guess, that they're forming. So it's, it's nutrition, uh, fitness, stress relief, and community support? Well, it's a group support. A group support. Right. Before. And then when they're done with the nine weeks, we encourage them to stay in an alumni group. So they continue that bond. They continue to do things outside of cardiac rehab proper. So they stay together, continue that bond. So I know it's very individual because everyone has their own personalities and strengths and weaknesses, but like overall, what would you say the average success rate is? Can you, can you give me an average success rate? Hmm. Some of the studies that Ornish has, if the, if the participants stick with the program, um, they're having amazing success rates, um, 90 plus percent adherence to the program, cholesterol levels are dropping in the 40%, Lots of weight loss, mm -hmm. so very positive. Well, thank you so much for all this incredible information. It has been such a pleasure, and I'm looking forward to learning more about this program. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Welcome back. More than 30 years of published scientific studies show how the Ornish Reversal Program treats heart disease. Many people even report feeling better just days after starting. Before the break, we got an overview of this inspiring program. Now it's time to learn the science behind it all. And who better to talk to for this than the doctor overseeing the program at Sentara Princess Anne. Ornish program is different from other exercise program or other cardiac rehab program in different ways. Ornish program not only incorporates the low-fat vegetarian diet, in addition, it has aerobic exercise, it has group discussion and counseling, it also has a stretch, stretching meditation and these are the four major components which are complementary in order to make heart healthy and general well-being of the individual we have observed uh, that by the by the by the time they are about the third or the fourth week they are already feeling much better particularly in about two weeks many of the people have relief of the symptoms of angina. For the metabolic parameters like blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol will steadily improve in about th three to four weeks on the program. And by the time they are towards the end of the program, they have mastered all the elements and they feel very proficient, very confident about what they need to do to continue to feel better. The predominant cause for the heart disease is the cholesterol built up into the wall of the arteries and over a period of time, the arteries became narrow and that reduces blood flow to the area of the heart and when that is not sufficient blood flow that leads to chest discomfort or a chest pain which is otherwise known as angina pectoris. Angina is the medical term for a chest pain and that is happening on account the heart muscle is not getting enough oxygen. Indirectly there is a reduced amount of blood flow. The meals are designed in a way 
that is so much of a volume, you do not actually need to count the calories. So that is the beauty of this program. You can eat unlimited amount provided you have a whole mix of these whole foods. Now that I had a better idea of what makes up the Ornish Reversal Program, I wanted to try some of their food. So I asked Katie Abbott, their dietary nutritionist, to show me one of her favorite recipes. Now we are back in the kitchen with Katie, making some delicious heart healthy treats from the Ornish Reversal Program. Katie, what do we have up next? Uh, we are going to make cocoa truffles and we're going to make them Mexican style, which means we're adding cinnamon and cayenne pepper. That sounds really good. And I used to make ginger snaps and I would put cayenne pepper in them, which you might think is kind of an odd ingredient, but it gives it that nice kind of little heat. So sounds I'm really delicious. looking forward to trying these. Yeah. So what are our meat? How, how can you eat truffles when you're on this health program? It doesn't sound like something that would be part of the heart healthy plan. When you think of truffles, you think of something very decadent and full of fat and sugar, but these are very low sugar. They're still rich, oh. but they, are, they don't have any added oils or fats in them. So how are they going to be kind of nice and fudgy-ish? Well, the dates give it that nice texture. We're going to with dates. Yes, and the dates actually sweeten it as well, so there's no added sugars in this. I never would have thought to do that. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is very this is very interesting. So I'm not seeing a lot of ingredients or a lot of tools out here. So mm -hmm. it looks like this is going to be another really simple recipe. It's really simple. It's really flavorful with just a small amount of ingredients. We're using six ingredients. They all go in the blender. You blend until smooth, and then you roll them into truffles. Wow, well let's get started. I'm excited to, to try these. So the first ingredient that I'm going to put in here is a cup of pitted dates. Um, if your dates come out dry or they're a little too hard, um, you can soak them in warm water for about 10 to 15 minutes to soften them up. Okay, and you make, want to make sure you get the pitted dates because you don't want to be grinding yeah. up the seeds. Yeah, the pit will stop the blade completely. That would be bad. Um, next we have a half a cup of cocoa powder. Does it have to be any particular type of cocoa powder? You want to make sure your cocoa powder doesn't have any added fats. Typically okay. it doesn't, and also no added sugars. So we're actually using a Hershey's cocoa powder today. Oh, okay. You can get Hershey's dark chocolate cocoa powder, or you can get green and black's uh, organic cocoa powder. Great, and so I, I'm assuming that the better quality of cocoa powder, the, the better the flavor is going to be. Yeah, so the only ingredient that you want on the label is cocoa. And that's really important to look for. And even with other baking things, if you're doing chocolate chips and whatnot, sometimes if you look and you read those labels, which is so important, you'll see that there's really not a lot of cocoa in them. Sometimes there's none. So you're getting something that you think is chocolate that's not. So make sure you check those labels. It's really important. Exactly. Next we have a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And is that something that it matters if you add a little more? I love vanilla. You can add a little bit more, absolutely. Sometimes if you add too much vanilla, it starts to taste um, like alcohol a little bit. So you, oh. you want to be mindful of how much you're putting in. Okay, note to salt. Yeah. A uh, fourth a teaspoon of salt. And a lot of people might think you're not going to use salt in, in sweet foods, but it really just kind of brightens up that flavor. And sometimes it yes. even kind of brings out some of the more hidden flavors. You're right, you're right. We are making these Mexican truffles, so we're adding cinnamon and cayenne pepper. We're just adding about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And so if you it's wanted not to, too spicy. you could leave those out, right? Okay. If you don't like the spicy dampness. Mm -hmm. Thank you. all going to come together kind of like a little dough ball in there. Just like if you're doing pie crust or something. Yes. I'm going to put this right oh, yep. Stick back here. And if you put your finger up there, it kind of grabs onto the blade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. So this is our end result. Yeah. So next we are just going to measure out um, the size of our truffles with a teaspoon measuring spoon. And really you can do a heaping teaspoon. 
And how precise do you, yeah, so you don't Yeah, you don't precise. have to be very precise. You can kind of play with it and, and make them as large or small as you'd like. And you kind of just form it into a truffle. And we have about a fourth a cup of cocoa powder here on this plate. We're just going to roll it in there briefly and kind of tap off any excess. We have our first truffle, voila, heart healthy truffle. Well great, let's get these all taken care of. Okay. These are so cute too, and I would totally take them to a holiday party or maybe a fancy office potluck party or something. They're perfect for that. They are. Thank you, Katie, for teaching me how to make these. Thank I've really enjoyed learning all of this. Thank you for inviting me and keep spreading the health. What an amazing program. Are you ready to take charge of your health with the Ornish Reversal Program at Centera Heart? If so, the specially trained Centera Heart experts are ready to help you control heart disease without drugs or surgery. You'll feel better, younger, and more active. To get more information about the program, call them or check out their website. Join us over the next few shows and together we'll learn just what makes the Ornish Reversal Program so exciting and successful. And of course, you don't have to be a trained cook or chef to make delicious heart healthy meals for you and your family. You just gotta cook from the heart. <laughs> like that. And we're back in the kitchen with Katie making some delicious healthy meals from the Ornus Reversal Program. And I just said Ornus Reversal. <laughs> Ornus Reversal Program. <laughs> <laughs> Lord.